foam stool or a foam top to a drop-in seat or whatever. So we've got... Oh, it's the wind. <laughs> We're just going to tack it lightly to the top of our webbed stool frame, overhanging the same all the way around, just to stop it moving. And we've got four pieces of calico cut for, to fit all four sides. They're about five inches long and they're, they go all the way around. So starting with one of these, we're going to... You can do this on the floor or you can do it on a bench. And this is just foam or carpet glue. And sticking it on there. Turn it over. Just do that way so you can see it. And now glue on the foam near to the wood. Afraid my thing's running out of glue. And then you need to lean evenly down on the frame. And you've got to be tall enough, that's why you might have to do it on the floor, to stick that down. And then when you come round, you can see you've got a curve mm -hmm. on there, okay? So when you come to a pulse to that, let's actually pull it away a little bit there. When you come to a pulse to that and put your top cover on, you'll have an even curve. You won't be trying to pull the fabric down to make that curve and think it's a bit pulled there and a bit pulled there. You've actually got a nice curve, obviously wait until that dries. You need to put some um, uh, some polyester, probably a four ounce, two or four ounce over that before you put your fabric on, but you no need to line it. Okay. If you wanted this foam to dome a bit in the middle, you could have actually put a smaller bit of foam underneath this and tiered it gradually to get a dome. But I don't think, I think these days people like stools to be able to put a tray on if they're not putting their feet on, so you want it fairly flat. Okay, and then you do the other three sides exactly the same.